Australia's unemployment rate rose as the nation posted its worst back-to-back -back years of job growth since the 1997 Asian financial crisis. Joining me to discuss this further is Atal Nurs, Global Head of Institutional Business at Synergy FX. Hello Atal. Australia's unemployment rate has rose to 5.4% and the number of workers has fallen by 5,500. What do you make of Australia's December unemployment data released today? Well, that's a good question. I uh, expected the unemployment rate increased slightly in December to 5.4% uh, off the back of a dwindling supply of vacant jobs in Australia. We've really seen recent uh, business confidence surveys in the market have been weak, with many uh, business planning to cut employment rather than increase it. We saw a number of uh, redundancies in December as businesses uh, look to start fresh in the new year, and we've seen this trend continue into 2013 with uh, Borrow, which is a major building and construction supplier, announcing plans to cut 700 staff by the March of this year. So it's worth noting 200 of the 700 staff to be cut were made redundant in late 2012, meaning many would have been included in the December figure that we saw reported today. What are your main concerns for the Australian economy now? My major concern for the Australian economy is really a lack of confidence uh, that has been caused by the resource sector slowdown. In my opinion, growth in Australia is being underestimated and concerns over the resource sector have been overdone. This lack of confidence coupled with uh, persistently high Aussie dollar has really resulted in a tougher than expected business environment. Now we also have seen that uh, the interest rate cuts are failing to generate the historical increase in spending. The reason for this is both the lower consumer confidence and the aging Australian population and growing share of retirees that have been forced to live off less as their investment yields decrease. And what are your 2013 projections for the Australian economy? In my opinion, uh, 2013 will continue to be a year of average growth, uh, well, at least to begin with, while we wait till for, uh, to see the recent cuts to take effect and ripples from positive news in the U.S. to reach our shores, I would expect no great surprises on the up or down side in Australia. With further rate cuts in the beginning of 2013, combined with some positive earnings growth from the Australian corporate sector, I expect the second half of this year to be far more positive with a dramatic change in business and consumer confidence leading into next year. Australia's growth rate currently stands at 0.5%. What are your predictions for the growth in the next few quarters? Yeah, as I was just saying, uh, Q1 and Q2 will continue to see the Australian economy sitting in between healthy expansion and economic contraction. Uh, I believe we will see the cash rate fall to 2.5% by the middle of this year, at which point the economy will begin to experience a strong rebound leading into next year. So the growth will be further supported by a stabilising of commodity prices, which will lead ultimately to um, greater confidence in the mining sector, which is really one of Australia's major contributors to the GDP. That's all for now here at Dukescopy TV. We'll be keeping you up to date with the latest financial news. For now, though, goodbye.